Happy Story Time! The Bird Parade Once upon a time, in the little town of Featherdale, November was anything but ordinary. It was the month of the Great Feathered Parade, a grand spectacle where birds from all over the world gathered to strut their stuff, show off their feathers, and most importantly, have an absolute blast. On a crisp November morning, the town square was buzzing with excitement. The aroma of freshly baked bread wafted through the air, and the trees rustled in anticipation. The parade was about to begin. Meet our feathered friends. Carrie, a teeny tiny sparrow with a heart full of joy, couldn't wait to see all the fancy feathers on display. She flitted about, greeting her feathered pals. Oh my, Phoebe, your feathers look even redder today. And Sheldon, your feathers are so fluffy, Carrie chirped. Phoebe the Cardinal stood tall and proud in her bright red plumage. Why, thank you, Carrie. I've been practicing my strut for weeks. Watch this. The crowd erupted in cheers as she strutted her stuff with a twirl. With his big, wise eyes, Sheldon the Owl watched the spectacle. Impressive, Phoebe. But don't forget to stay on the path. Sheldon was always the cautious one. Meanwhile, Polly the woodpecker was in a tree nearby, pecking away at a branch. I'm making a drum, guys. It will be the loudest, funniest drum you've ever seen, Polly declared. As the parade began, the birds paraded around each showing off their unique feathers. The crowd clapped and giggled as Polly's drumming made everyone bounce and laugh. But then, disaster struck. A strong gust of wind swooped down and swirled through Featherdale. The drum, caught in the wind, flew out of Polly's wings. It soared over the parade, much to everyone's surprise. Oh no, Carrie gasped. We've got to catch it. In a whirl of feathers, our four friends sprang into action. Phoebe zoomed ahead, her red feathers blazing, and tried to grab the drum. Shelton, ever the thinker, hooted and directed Phoebe's flight path. A little to the left, Phoebe. Carrie, with her speedy wings, darted toward the drum too. She was a quick thinker. I'll cut it off from the right. But Polly, the goofball woodpecker, wasn't going to be outdone. With a wild flurry of wings, he dived bombed beak first and caught the drum with a loud thump The crowd roared with applause. The great feathered parade had never seen such a funny, action-packed performance. The birds proudly returned to the parade with Polly's drum in tow. With their bravery and humor, the feathered friends were the talk of Featherdale. And this time, the bird parade continued with even more enthusiasm and cheer. At nightfall, the great feathered parade came to an end. Our four feathered friends huddled together, beaming with pride. With a wink, Phoebe said, not only did our feathers shine today, but our friendship too. Sheldon nodded sagely and our ability to help each other in need. Carrie chirped happily, 
and the fun we had along the way. And Polly, always the joker, added, and my incredible drum skills, of course. As they headed home, they knew that November brought a remarkable time for friends, feathers, and fantastic adventures in Feathertail. And with that, they flew off into the night, their laughter echoing through the starry sky. The end. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.